So what is going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and welcome to your third Chrome extension tutorial and as you can see I am back on Windows from my sweet two-day tutorial journey on Mac here and the reason is that because actually I was unable to configure microphone with MacBook Air so yeah so I got a lot of feedback that the audio quality and actually the audio level was low and uh, I guess to boost the audio I have to actually place my mouth on the side of the Mac but uh, it kind of doesn't work that way because then I'm just not able to type anything and uh, it kind of is very hard to configure external microphone with MacBook Air I thought that you cannot configure that because there's only one port on the left side which is kind of says it's headphone but when I read online that I found that you can you can just plug in your microphone and it should work then I plugged in my microphone and it didn't work then I googled it a bit and I found that you need a special sort of adapter to work with that and all that kind of crap it took three four hours and finally I concluded that let's just do this on Windows so here we are and I have just pretty much done a git clone of the same repository we did in the last tutorial so we're going to take a look at basically what this manifest or json file is so what happens is that chrome needs some file some sort of file to actually learn about what your extension is what resources it needs what its title should be its description its version and what it's pretty much doing what's what permission it's need the the extension requires and all that stuff which is kind of basic, right? So it's kind of a package.json file for your project. If you can link a little. So if you take a look in the browser, you see that we have this extension already in my browser. And if you do not have this, then what you need to do is pretty much go to Chrome extensions and enable this developer mode and just load unpacked extension and just path, just navigate to your path and hit OK and you would get this hello world holy moly, right? once you get it you should pretty much see an icon like this in your system tray and when you click it you see this is fun because this is fun is what essentially it says right so we were talking about this manifest or json file so if you take a look in the docs which is quite rich and good and it's kind of easy to understand as well but it's just a little bit cumbersome because of overwhelming information so obviously we are never gonna make use of all of these at all at once right so yeah most of the information right here is redundant but we're just gonna go over a little briefly what they are so let's just see so many it says that manifest a json file uh, provides important information well yeah let's hope and then it says us that some things are required which is this manifest version two i don't know something happened to one so they switched to two then there goes our name which is obviously required for your extension then the version version is pretty much something like how your extension um you know whatever it's your version of your extension and it's mandatory to actually update your version by at least some amount if you are pushing an update so like if you start with version 0.1 then in the next release you cannot go like uh, or maybe if you start from 0.5 then you cannot go like 0.4 or 0.3 Right? You have to actually increase the version every time you release an update to your extension. Then it says there are some recommended ones and it says default location. Um, you can just omit that, you can omit description, but it says that it's recommended to set. And these icons obviously are the icons which you see here and here, all that stuff. Then finally, we have something as browser action. And browser action is pretty much how your extension should interact with the browser toolbar right like what should happen when you click here or basically it's just a high level information of what should happen it's not programming we are not programming in here what would happen and then it says us pick one or none so obviously do not pick both then it says us optional information like author automation and i have no idea what this automation is actually we have to take a look at that so yeah this says us background scripts and uh, we're gonna come at this background script section later on 
then we have this chrome settings overrides chrome ui overrides and all that good stuff which we would use apparently in our applications as we go along then we have this chrome url overrides and uh, basically you would need this if you are creating something like your own new custom tab or um, any other thing which chrome provides i guess bookmark manager or something like that but it's majorly used if you are creating like a new tab for yourself and that's actually a cool idea and then we have all of this stuff with some incognito stuff as well which is cool and the options page to customize an options page for extension for example if we take a look here we do not have this options enabled for this extension but uh, if you specify this in your manifest or json file then it would be enabled and uh, then we get to permissions which is something important that you need to specify every permission your extension uses and then all of the stuff as well so yeah more or less chrome extensions are actually a bit superior to your regular javascript running on the web page because first of all they have access to a lot of chrome apis which are whatsoever not available with the vanilla js running on your web page and uh, chrome apis are kind of very powerful so for example um, you can break into iframes and uh, modify stuff on the live website which is uh, obviously not allowed at all by regular javascript due to security reasons and there are a lot of other things you can do with chrome extensions so yeah in a nutshell pretty much chrome extensions are cool and uh, well i guess we were talking about manifest file right here so yeah manifest.json file as well is uh, just a place to start and uh, yeah i guess it should not be a lot of difficult to understand what this is so i'm just gonna leave it here so that's all for this one and in the next tutorial we're gonna get our hands dirty with some real coding of chrome extensions so till then don't forget to subscribe and again thank you for watching i'll see you then in the next one